Hello, and welcome to BSpace. This short tutorial will demonstrate the various features of the BSpace communication and collaboration environment. But before we begin, a few quick facts about BSpace. BSpace is an implementation of the Sakai open source platform, which is built and maintained jointly by multiple participating schools, of which UC Berkeley is a contributing member. BSpace was implemented in 2006 and replaces a previous platform that no longer met the needs of students or faculty. 50,000 people use BSpace regularly, and every course at UC Berkeley has a BSpace site. Alright, let's get started. BSpace is located at bspace.berkeley.edu. When you get there, You'll see that the BSpace homepage has a graphic in the center of the screen and a box below it with important system-related information. Events and workshops offered by Educational Technology Services at Berkeley are listed along with their dates next to this box. You may sign up for a workshop by clicking the date of the workshop you are interested in. You will also see some interesting articles about technology, teaching and learning, and other related topics to the far right. On the left-hand side of the screen is the primary navigation menu. There is a help link that will take you to the BSpace help documentation should you need it at any time. At the top of the screen on the right are the login buttons. If you have a CalNet account, click the CalNet button and provide your login credentials. If you are a guest user, use the guest button. Once you're logged in, you'll see a lot more options. All of your sites will be listed across the top of the screen, if you have any. If the sites you are interested in aren't listed, you can just select them from the Active Sites drop-down menu. You may also see all the course and project sites you are a member of by clicking the membership link. In the My Workspace tab, a tab which everyone has, students and faculty alike, you can set up new course and project sites, if you have permission to do so, and you may find and join public sites as well. Course sites are intended to be time-based and may have attached official rosters. Course sites also have multiple different role types that allow for tool permission flexibility. Project sites by contrast have fewer roles and as a result less tool permission flexibility. Project sites are intended to last for many months and even years. Having said that, we never delete course or project sites from BSpace, so you will always have access to the sites that you create. There is also a My Files area where you can store personal files you are not ready to share with your students or classmates. If there is an official roster for your course, you can attach it to your BSpace site. In addition, you may add people to your sites from outside of the UC Berkeley system, such as guest lecturers or other people you want to be able to view, but not necessarily change or interact with your course. You may also create groups or sections to group users for certain activities, discussions, and projects. Sections are often created automatically from the roster, while groups you have to set up manually from the site info tool. One of the most important things you will use BSpace for is communicating with your students or project members. There are three ways you may use BSpace to communicate. You may use the Announcements tool to send out mass messages to the whole class or to individual groups and sections. You may use the Email Archive tool to similarly send out mass messages to the whole class but from outside BSpace. And finally, you may send email using the Messages tool, customized to send to particular users within BSpace, groups, or other customized lists of individuals. Students may collaborate using the Forums or Wiki tool. There is also a chat room for hosting virtual office hours. Forums can be created for specific discussion topics. They can be made available only to specific groups or sections and they can be used in a way, for example, that students must read other posts before writing their own. 
The wiki tool is a collaborative space where students can work with each other to draft documents or do other collaborative work. In BSpace, you can create a highly sophisticated gradebook that allows you to categorize and weight items in a variety of ways. You may export and import grades into Excel for offline use or if you need to do customized manual calculations for any reason. You may even choose whether you want to have an A through F grading scale, what the minimum percentage scores are for each grade level, such as specifying if the minimum grade to receive an A is 95%, for example, or if the class is just pass-fail. There is a robust assignments tool that you may use to create a variety of student assignments that are linked automatically to the gradebook if you choose. You can collect assignments from students as attachments in a variety of document formats such as PDF, DOC, XLS, and PPT. Or you may have students create rich text documents in BSpace. You can even leave feedback and other comments to students on the files they submit for their assignments. There is a powerful quiz and survey tool that allows you to create low-stakes online assessments or ungraded surveys. You can even choose to create totally anonymous surveys that can be given even to people outside UC Berkeley if you choose. Think SurveyMonkey or other free online survey tools. You may create a variety of question types such as multiple choice, fill in the blank, true and false, essay, matching, and even voice recordings which are great for language classes. You can even set many of these question types to be automatically graded by the system. Finally, you can create question pools that allow you to reuse questions and even randomize questions with limited subsets so that each student taking an exam gets a random set of questions from the pool. In most of the tools in BSpace, there is the possibility to type just plain text for directions or to use a rich text editor to add images and even videos such as easily embedded YouTube videos. So for example, you could create a quiz question that was a YouTube video or you could have answers to a question that were a series of images from which students had to choose the correct one. Additionally, you could use an image or embedded video on the course homepage to portray a specific idea, for example, to the class, which you could change every week if you wanted to. BSpace allows you to create, host, and share a variety of files such as HTML documents, external links, PDFs, Word documents, Excel spreadsheets, PowerPoint presentations, text files, and much more. You may add files individually or in bulk. In addition, you may create folders and move files and folders around. You can even create main folders and subfolders and organize your content just as you would on your desktop. Finally, there is a sign-up tool that works seamlessly with a schedule tool to allow students to sign up for class presentations, office hours, or other events and meetings individually or in groups. That's just a sampling of what BSpace can do for you. We hope you enjoyed this presentation of the BSpace communication and collaboration environment. If you have questions about how to use the platform, are looking for a consultation one-on-one, -on -one, or need further instruction or training for a group, you may contact us by visiting our website at ets.berkeley.edu.